Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at what D-cell means. If you've used Flight Simulator or maybe one of the other simulators, uh, you might have seen the D-cell point popping up on the VFR map or maybe even on your flight plan. And you might ask yourself, hey, what is the D-cell point? Well, the D-cell stands for the deceleration point. And once you reach that point, you will see that the aircraft will switch to approach mode. If you don't touch the, or if you don't pass the diesel point, uh, you might have to switch to the approach mode manually to make sure that your autopilot is switching to the out to the I would say approach mode and reduce the throttle, etc. So let's go inside the aircraft and uh, let's have a look at how we can see that. Right. So normally. Uh, what you would have is the uh, flight plan and the flight plan has multiple pages in this case uh, eight pages uh, because we're flying from uh, Liverpool to uh, Rome and uh, when you hit the next page uh, it's a little bit hard from here so let me do it a different way when we go to the next page you will see that it contains a lot of waypoints and one of those waypoints is the start of the terminal approach route and if we would look that up onto the or on the VFR map, uh, you can see that that's uh, Charlie Mike Papa. That's uh, probably where the this where the uh, route starts. Maybe it's even earlier. And one of the other st things you you see here is the diesel point, right? So once the aircraft uh, is passing this point, and in some cases, for example, I saw it with the A320, you even see the diesel point being added to the way uh, to the flight plan. You will see that the aircraft will switch to a different mode, right? So if we would look at the uh, modes which we have available, right? And those are the uh, the takeoff one, where we can set up the uh, takeoff uh, speeds and also the flaps, but also the V1s and the V rotates, which I just did. Right here, you can set the flaps and you can set the flaps. I need to hide this. For example, if you want to set the flaps to one, uh, you can edit. Uh, don't forget, if you modify the flaps, you need to readjust the V1, uh, VR and V-rotate. In some cases, it will change the speed, so keep that in mind. The next one is the thrust limiter, which is the thrust limiter when, I would say, flying on a, a normal course. Um, or in a climb a climb course in this case, right? So we can say climb or select. Uh, in this case, I will keep it on uh, climb mode. And then we've got a takeoff, which we just visited. But the one you can't see for some reason, I'm not sure if it's, uh, I would say, an issue uh, or it simply is visible later on, is the approach mode. To see the approach mode, you need to go to init ref, and there you will see the approach option. And the approach option contains also several options, right? It contains the uh, flaps. So in this case, okay, a 20 uh, degree flaps, the reference speed, the max speed is 170, uh, 25, it's 159, and 30, it's 157. Uh, keep in mind that you still can set the flap and speed uh, based on uh, your flight plan. So what's expected when you hit a diesel point is that it switches to this mode. And uh, you would be able to see that also uh, on the uh, left screen in this uh, Boeing 787. You will see that the mode will change to the um, approach mode. In this case, you will see that the uh, VR, which is not visible here because here's V1, that the VR speed will change because um, yeah, you need to reduce speed right before taking the approach. Uh, so that's what the diesel point does right so if you see diesel now you know what it means it means the deceleration point and from that point on the aircraft should i would say decrease speed in most cases it will decrease uh, below uh, 240 knots in some case maybe even further down uh, so don't be worried if that happens because that's normal that's part of the approach I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them uh, below the video in the comment box. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.